Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Lee Schwartzberg, and I have the honor of serving as the executive director of the West Cancer Center. We're approaching the fifth anniversary of the incredible partnership with, medical, with Methodist Healthcare and the University of Tennessee Health Science Center. In the five years we've been together, we've come a long way towards our vision of elevating cancer care for our city and region by joining our expert teams of clinicians together to deliver state-of-the-art multidisciplinary care with the latest equipment and therapies at our fingertips. We've built a wonderful center out east and have started work on a second cancer center at the medical district, so all members of our community have access to the best and the brightest. Our educational training programs and our research programs are growing rapidly so we can help place new experts in the community and facilitate new discoveries to help more cancer patients in the future. Thank you so much for being here today and contributing to the foundation, which will use your gracious donations for everything from helping underserved populations get a free mammogram, as you heard, to supporting a laboratory that is working to unravel the mysteries of what makes a cancer cell able to spread throughout the body. It's my privilege to be part of this exceptional partnership, and we have great things ahead of us. But my greatest honor today is to be the person who gets to introduce a very, very special patient of ours. At West Cancer Center, we use the word fight quite a bit, the fight against cancer, the fight our patients embark on when they begin their cancer journey. It's what we at West Cancer Center and all of our patients live every single day, side by side in the ultimate fight for survival whether it's for more weeks, months, or years with their families and friends, or the fight to make it to that next big event in their child's or grandchild's life, and most hopefully, the fight to be cured. We have the privilege and honor to partner with these courageous patients and families who, having heard the news and the treatment program they must endure, they get out of bed the next day anyway and take their treatments in addition to living their lives. Today you're going to hear from a woman who embodies all we hope to say when we use the word fight, because that's what she is, the ultimate fighter and survivor, Miss Sonia Fort. Sonia has faced several recurrences of her cancer, multiple surgeries, including a 20-hour surgery performed by Dr. Courtney Shires from our head and neck surgical oncology team. She's had radiation therapy, multiple rounds of chemotherapy under the direction of medical oncologist Dr. Moon Fenton, and she's participated in clinical trials of new promising medicines. And throughout it all, she's faced it with grace, with courage, and with the mentality of unceasing determination to defeat this terrible disease. And thanks to her friends, family, and her collaborative multidisciplinary care team at West Cancer Center, She's facing this battle equipped with all the support she requires and desires. It is an absolute joy to introduce to you today this year's Survivor Speaker, Sonia Ford. never saw a wild thing feel sorry for itself. A small bird will drop frozen from a bow without ever having felt sorry for itself. D.H. Lawrence. I never knew the significance of one of my favorite quotes and how important it would be in my life for me one day. After the birth of my first child, a routine dental cleaning revealed a small white patch on the inside of my left cheek. Biopsy results revealed that it was of an unknown origin, and when I asked my oral surgeon if it was necessary to remove it, he decided not to, and that we would just observe. It rarely changes over to cancer, he said. Fast forward to 2014. 
all year long it was changing, and I put off going back to the dentist and the oral surgeon. And when I finally did, I was immediately referred to Dr. Courtney Shire's head and neck surgeon at West Cancer Center for evaluation. A biopsy revealed that it had, in fact, changed over to cancer in stage four at that because it had spread to the lymph nodes in my neck. Squamous cell carcinoma from oral cancer can be very tricky to treat. My case was presented to the tumor board at the West Cancer Center, and I was referred, fortunately, to Dr. Moon Fennin, medical oncologist, and Dr. Matthew Ballo, ready oncologist at West Cancer Center. A comprehensive treatment plan was immediately put in place with plans to remove the cancer from the inside of my mouth in December 2014. I went home with the feeding tube and strict orders not to eat or drink anything. I celebrated the holidays without the usual goodies that most of us associate with the season. The silver lining of that was I had a tube in my nose and I actually lost a few pounds. After surgery, I completed six rounds of chemotherapy and 30 rounds of radiation to my head and neck. I have to say that the chemo was very difficult, but radiation therapy to the head and neck or anywhere else for that matter is no joke. However, I did have the help of Drs. Fenton, Ballo, and all of the wonderful staff at the West Cancer Center at the Midtown location to get me through this difficult time with incredible compassion and support from my friends, from them and my family. Before I knew it, I was ringing that bell to celebrate the end of my treatment, and it was one of the happiest days of my life. Unfortunately, Thank you. Unfortunately, my cancer journey was not over yet. Over the following summer, I developed a small cyst just under the skin at the original surgical site. Dr. Shires did a fine needle biopsy that revealed early cancer cells, and we were looking at something much more significant and aggressive than before. I never questioned God, and I still haven't but I don't think any of us really expected to hear that news again. In the midst of this setback, Dr. Shires and Dr. Ben Boulier with University Clinical Health once again went to work, developing a plan for a 20-hour surgical procedure that would literally remove the side of my face, jaw, and my teeth, replacing it with titanium, as well as tissue and muscle grafted from my right thigh. That is what you see on my face today. Recovery from that surgery and the complications that followed consumed all of my time, but home health care, nursing care and support and prayers from my close family and friends once again helped me through a very difficult time. Not long after this surgery, though, I found myself back in the hands of the West Cancer Center in November of 2015. I learned the cancer had once again returned. Under the guidance of my team at West, who was committed to getting me the critical care that I needed, no matter where it took me, I was referred immediately to this, for a second opinion to the MD Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. Ironically enough, the treatment that was recommended for me in Houston was not available, but Dr. Fenton was able to offer it to me here, right here in Memphis, Tennessee. How lucky we are. <laughs> How lucky we are to have a plan like West right here in our city where cancer patients can access the best, most innovative therapies for their cancer treatment. Soon after all of this, my cancer returned. 
I started a new treatment that involved two types of chemotherapy with an addition of an immunotherapy drug under the instruction of Dr. Moon Fenton. As of February of this year, I had a 75 to a 90% response to this combo therapy. After continuing with just the immunotherapy treatment, it alone gave me clear scans back to back with no evidence of disease both in June and just this last month. As of right now, As far as we know, as of right now, I continue to be cancer-free. <laughs> Throughout this long journey, I feel very blessed and thankful for my premier medical care team here at the West Cancer Center all over Memphis. Some of those care team members are here in this room today the physicians, nurses, staff, I have to say thank you from the very bottom of my heart. Without you, I would not be standing here today. I sincerely know that feeling when the doctor tells you that you have cancer. It's a very terrifying, overwhelming feeling, complete, absolute loss of control. There are days that are very difficult and hard to get through, where it's very difficult to keep your chin up. It's okay to have days like that, but you just can't stay there. You have to put your faith in God, which I did, and put your trust in medicine. Stay focused on the process and remember why you fight. Just keep, in, keep moving forward. I fight for my true sons. I fight for my desire to live. I continue to give it every single thing that I have got. You remember in the beginning, that little bird in a great big world freezing out on a limb. He will fall off dead, frozen to death, before he ever gives up. Thank you.